You've probably heard me talking about this self-sufficient living skills bundle that's been going on, and I have been spending the last week flipping through so many of the incredible resources within this bundle. Now, I will say there's a lot. There's over 118 different ebooks and courses and lessons sharing incredible wisdom and knowledge with you, so you can live off the land and you don't have to rely on this corrupt and broken system for everything for your family. Anyways, I wanted to share some of my favorite things. One, first off, is off-grid homeopathy. This course is loaded with so much incredible knowledge, talking about homeopathy for first aid, for colds and flu, how to make your own homeopathic remedies. Like, as an herbalist who loves to teach that stuff, that's pretty exciting to hear it in the homeopathy realm. There's also some incredible fermentation guides, so many other amazing herbal recipes and food recipes and how to make your own sourdough bread, how to do your own organic gardening and canning of all of your foods. Really, there is so much. And yes, I know, I know. I've talked about it a ton, but this entire bundle is only $50 right now until Sunday, March 24th. I'm sharing my herbal first aid skills, which is a course that's $47 on its own. I'm sharing recipes that I used when I got my products into REI for herbal first aid kits and so much more. Y'all have to check it out. I'm serious. Like you can absolutely change your life with this bundle. So there is a link in the show notes for you and I hope you check it out. I hope you take advantage. Don't worry. You don't have to go through everything right away. You can access everything for up to a year. Once you're in the course or have the download, it's yours for life. It is a steal of a deal. Okay, self-sufficient living skills bundle in the links for you. Okay, let's talk about one of the most nourishing plants out there. A plant that is feared by so many due to its oh-so-famous sting, yet a plant that is incredible food and incredible medicine. Yeah, maybe you guessed it. The plant is stinging nettles. And if you've ever even kind of wondered just a teeny little bit how this plant could possibly be a good plant, stay tuned for this episode and I'm going to dish it all out for you. Hello and welcome to the Herbalist Path Podcast. I'm your host, Mel Mutterspa. I'm a clinical herbalist, environmental educator, founder and formulator of an herbal products company called Mountain Mel's Essential Goods. And my most important role in life is being the mother of a beautiful young daughter. I also have this crazy passion for teaching people to use plants as medicine in a safe and effective way. Herbalism is the most sustainable way to take care of yourself, your family, the plants, and our precious planet. In this podcast, you'll get a mix of interviews with fellow herbalists, herb farmers, product makers, herbal educators, clinicians, and plain old plant geeking herb nerds similar to myself. You'll also get some episodes where it's just me dishing you some great info on how you can safely use herbs for yourself and your family. It's an honor to have you here and joining in on a serious mission to inspire a movement where there's an herbalist in every home again. about you, but for me, this is absolutely the most exciting time of the year. It's the first week of spring, and I just found my first baby nettles popping up in my favorite little riverside nettles patch. It's this beautiful space, a bit off of the beaten path, where I'm just surrounded by the most luscious green forest draping and oozing in moss. There's sunshine beaming on my face and not a soul around other than myself, my dogs, a few honking geese making their flights down the river, and of course, the plants. Truly, it's absolutely blissful to hang out with those, these plants. 
I love them so much. And nettles also have so many health benefits to them. It's certainly worth dealing with the zing or the sting that may or may not come around when you play with them. So from the beginnings of your life to the ends of your life, nettles can nourish your body in amazing ways. In fact, it's a wonderful herb for pregnant mamas as it brings a wealth of nutrients to both mama and baby. So I'm talking nutrients like chlorophyll, vitamin C and K, beta carotene, and nettles have more protein than almost any plant out there. Not only that, they're incredibly mineral rich. They're loaded with iron and potassium, phosphorus, manganese, silica, zinc, chromium for healthy brain development, calcium, and really so much more to keep our bodies nourished. It also happens to be really helpful for the mamas that are out there breastfeeding their babies. It's what's called a galactagogue herb which means that it helps to promote the flow of breast milk. And not only does it help the milk flow, it replenishes all those essential nutrients and minerals both mama and baby really need during this precious time in life. And not only that, it helps with water retention, or issues with edema that can definitely come up during pregnancy, during menstruation, and many other parts of life when we're experiencing that nasty, bloated, and weight gainy feeling, which is commonly due to water retention. So nettles help to alleviate some of that swelling and bloating because they're what's called a diuretic herb, which just means that it helps to release toxins and excess water through the flow of urine. Yes, let it flow. Let the urine go. (laughs) It's actually that same diuretic property that makes nettles a very helpful herb for those that might be dealing with painful passing of kidney stones. So ideally, to ease the pain of that really uncomfortable process, I'd suggest maybe using a few other herbs to make that smoother. So consider herbs like wild yam, block or even corn silk. In fact, nettles are also specific for those that are dealing with gout pain, which can be a really excruciatingly painful scenario down in the toes, particularly the big toe. So nettles can be a really, really great helper there. Also consider celery seed during that time. They help with gout as well. And speaking of body aches and pains, Many studies have shown that nettle leaf can be really helpful in both treating and the prevention of rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. In fact, some of these studies showed that those ingesting nettle leaf saw results as effective as taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, aspirin, and other common pain-relieving drugs. And several of those people in the study were able to reduce the use of the NSAIDs, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or just completely stop using them. That's some amazing stuff, y'all. It not only reduced their pain levels, but it also improved their motility or ability to help those joints move along. All from a really, really cool plant that so many people fear. This is just a few of the many, many reasons I love plant medicine so much. There's truly an abundance of magic all around us. So are you ready for more reasons that nettles are so incredible for you? Get this. Nettles can be an immense help for those dealing with seasonal allergies. (laughs) What? Yeah, it's true. Those darn stinging nettle plants, I don't really darn them, but they can help with your allergies. It's true. 
So if you're able to find a really great brand of freeze-dried nettles, like maybe Oregon's Wild Harvest or Eclectic Institute, two companies I love and trust. I know the founders and the owners of them, and I've been to their farms and their production facilities, and I know they have incredible quality products. Anyways, they have some of the best freeze-dried nettles out there. And the cool thing is they also add quercetin into their nettles, which is going to increase the effectiveness of the freeze-dried nettles for your allergies. So ideally, the best way to use them to prevent your seasonal allergies is to start taking them about one to two months before allergy season begins for you. If it's too late, and you're like, oh, I need help now with these stinking allergies. You can still totally use nettles. But instead, in that acute situation, you're going to want to take more. So like two to six capsules if they're 300 milligram capsules, instead of the two capsules you would want to take as a pre- preventative for your allergies. I just think that's so cool, guys. I hope you do too. And The reality is that nettles are so incredibly powerful and potent in so many ways that I could talk about them for years. And, well, I will talk about them for years because I love them. And I love talking about herbs and sharing this information with you. So for nettles, from being an incredibly nutrient-dense herb to making your hair lustrous and soft and shiny, to helping with gout and joint pain, easing seasonal allergies and water retention, promoting milk flow, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. You can use nettles as food, you can infuse them in a raw apple cider vinegar and use them as a nourishing salad dressing, make a pesto out of them. If you want, I've got a YouTube channel or a YouTube video where I shared a really great nettle pesto recipe. You can also find that on my blog. You can make a nettle soup. You can add them sauteed to your greens for dinner, make yourself a tincture, sip a nettle tea, Whatever you do, just start loving nettles more today. And if you've learned anything new in this episode on how nettles can help you, let this be a lesson in how many amazing ways that plants can be used. I know that in our society, we tend to get to know an herb for one thing, and then it gets pigeonholed in this tiny little category when really it does so, so, so much more than just that one thing. These plants are powerful. These plants are amazing. Now it's up to us to get to know them, to cherish them, to use them, to respect them, and to ensure their replenishment for future generations. And if you want to learn about some of the fun of nettles and harvesting them without needing gloves... Be sure to check out my TikTok channel at The Herbalist Path. I have been sharing lots of videos out in my favorite Riverside Nettles patch of heaven. I have been having a blast. So you definitely want to check those out. Um, And that's it, my friend. That's a wrap for this episode. So be sure to shoot me a message and let me know your favorite takeaway from this episode. And let me know your favorite or most excited way that you are going to use nettles in your life starting today. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Herbalist Path. Share it. Let's make herbalism spread like wildflowers, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Herbalist Path. Being on this journey with you is absolutely incredible. If you dig this episode, please leave me a review on your favorite podcast player and share it with your friends so that together we can make herbalism hashtag spread like wildflowers. On another note, I must mention that while I know you're getting some good info here, it's important to remember that this podcast is purely for entertainment and educational purposes and is not intended to be a substitute for medical treatment. While the information in this podcast is absolutely relevant, herbs work differently for each person and each condition. 
That's why I recommend you work with a qualified practitioner, whether that be another herbalist, a naturopath, or your doctor. So thank you again. I am truly honored that you're tuning into these episodes and on the path with me to make sure that there's an herbalist in every home again. Don't forget to share this episode with your friends so that we can make herbalism. Hashtag spread like wildflowers. It has been so much fun and so, I don't know, joyous watching all of my medicinal plant friends popping up in my garden from the Ella Campaign to the Comfrey and the Arnica. I love seeing these friends pop up. And if you are still trying to decide what to grow in your medicinal herb garden, you've got to grab my guide. It's all about the most essential herbs that every mom should know and should grow. So I teach you how to grow them and the many different ways that you can use them. If you want to grab the guide, go ahead. It's free and I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of delight and use out of it. And there's a link to it in the show notes. I'm wishing you tons of happy medicine planting.